Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lockpad. We've got a uh, nice Martin sword that we're going to kick, uh, we're going to pick today. This came from uh, Billy Faffler. Uh, has a channel called Lockery. He sent me this all the way from Japan. Uh, give me a second. I've got a note here that I got with it. Um, it comes from the Marine Corps Air, Air Station. What uh, I think it's La Wakuni, Japan. That's where he's stationed at the moment. Uh, he sent me this is his second challenge lock he's made. Um, so I said I'd have a go picking it. Do love picking people's uh, you know very early challenge locks. Very cool. Um, also we've got a small parcel we're going to open afterwards. Also got to do quickly is a big thank you to Wadisi2 from UKLS who sent me this beautiful. I call it electric blue 1100 absolutely love these uh, did a shout out there because I'm collecting them and he generously sent me one thank you very much my friend absolute awesome uh, but before we start uh, if you're interested in locksport and you want to get involved please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk or find us on discord at the extraordinary league of pickers and you'll find me on Lock picking and lock sport at UKLP on Facebook. Also, I've been watching a lot of your entries on the uh, Vice Versa Challenge. Absolute great stuff. I feel sorry for half of you because it's been such a such hard work for some of you. I mean, it even look like some of you want to just give up on life. <laughs> Do so, I'm sorry I made it so difficult, but it's been great. Absolute awesome entries, and the destructive one. Come on, get involved from anyone from the UK or the, the British Isles. Um. There's only uh, two entries on there at the moment. I've got like 15 entries on the vice versa and only two on the destructive. So uh, come, and get, come and have a go for some fun. Right, uh, let's see if we can get this picked. So uh, we're going to use a uh, homemade tension wrench. It was a hex key. Um, I have flexi ones and I love I love these ones um, because because they're a solid tension wrench. They do really help me with the feedback, uh, especially if the serrations are very slight. It's a bit like on the American locks, they're very small serrations. And I'm going to use a trusty, good old trusty, South Ord Max De Forest. And on this one, we've got to pick on the, the warding on the, the left because there's only way to get in there. Let's get to the back first and see what we've got. I have uh, I have picked this lock once. I had a quick go of it. Pretty tricky. Uh, not doing anything else with it though. Um, also, I've got an another video. Uh, it's an older one. It's going to be up either this week or next week. Uh, it's a Yale padlock that I um, picked. If uh, it's a, if I mention anything about the giveaways, just ignore any information because it's a, like I say, it's nearly a two week old video. Um, I just never got to get it up put up yet so hopefully we'll get it done soon let's try clockwise Oh, got a little click off. I think that was three. Little click on two, nothing on one. They definitely put me in a little fault set and just not let me out of that. So another reset, let's try one, no, two. I have to help it's the 
counter rotation that one. We're going to click on two again. We've got another little bit more of a fault set. Don't want to lose that. Let me just reset that. There we go. Oh, got a little bit of counter rotation and then back in that fault set again. I'm going to pin, I think it's five. Oh, I think I had to manually counter rotate that again. I still got that. Fault set. Oh, we've got a deeper fault set now. Not five. I don't want to lose that again. Myself in a comfy position. Let me just try a different pick now. Um, let me have a look. Let's go with a I'll try the I'll try the hop from Trickmaster. Well this is the South Orb, very easy to bend. Oh nearly lost that then. Ooh. Nearly lost that again. I'm clicking on the catching. Default set again. But what I'm not getting is uh not getting any counter now. The tension is really light, I'm just resting my finger on it. It's not fine. I think we're going to have to manually counter it. And then lost that again. Oh, and we're open. Wow. <sighs> Thought I was going to drop everything then. off without completely undoing it new no. oh nearly, nearly clipped the camera then oh there we go oh look at that bin man that's a fat key 
Let's lock it back up. Does work. We've got a little notchiness, which that means I suspect we have a T pin or something in there. There we go. I need a flat one, I didn't realise. Most of the back of these uh, mortise locks are. Uh, Posse driver, aren't they? Let's see what Billy's done inside this lock. That was a fun pick, that mate. That was pretty tricky. That that last pin to set was. Uh, I just couldn't tell if I set it or not. And then no feedback on that, that's pretty cool. Because it tricks you. It tricked me anyway. I need a shim. Key in. And I'm going to turn to that. No, I don't like going to the left that much. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I had to pause it while I've got the shimmy. We've got it in. And Tom, my friend Foxy, you are a lifesaver sending this version with that, that notch. Because for these type of locks, it works absolutely perfect. There we go. Very, very gentle. Well, we have a pin missing. I don't know if you've done that on purpose, my friend, and you've just made it into a um, five pin. Well, absolutely everything needed picking. Standard in one, a standard in two, a standard in three, standard in four, and a standard in five. Um, nothing done to the core. Nope, we're all fine in there. And let's see what you've uh, put in here for us. Look at that. Looking for my tweezers. Right in front of me. Hmm. Be a lot better if I took the shim out on it. Let's see what we've got. Taking this out really slowly. That's a very nice pin. It looks steel. It's hard to work steel. Unless you've got the right files and tools. That's always where you came out. That's another steel one. That's really nice work. This is a long one. Well, that is very nice. Oh, is that all copper springs? I'll see you. Let's put it the right way. Another steel one. Another gold spring. And the copper spring, I think they're all springs are standard. And last 
spot these. Need to turn around. Is a grub screw. The screw, yep, it's only pinned up to five, even though it can be pinned up to six. Uh, no, so look, nothing in any of them chambers. Absolute awesome job. And these pins, very rarely I do come across steel pins. Uh, that have been made. There we go. So, look. so we've got all standard key pins, but um, drivers. What's that? Let's just look back. We've got. Um, it's a bit like a spool. Very sharp end on there. And then we've got this one, which is like a spool, but it's got um, very nice serrations. Number three is a very nicely serrated key, uh, driver four serrations different widths and depths but that's steel and in number four we've got another serrated one with some wide serrations um so wide i can easily just leave my tweezers in there that's cool but it's steel as well like i say that's amazing and the last one looks like it was a some type of a grub screw because it's threaded. Or it could be a steel one that he's actually made himself. Because the work on them, I'm not surprised if he has. That is absolutely awesome though. Great job, Billy, my friend. Um, yeah, and we've got um four we've got five copper springs. Absolute awesome work. Um but please check out it's Lock Tree, and that's Billy Faffler. He's in Japan at the moment. Absolute awesome guy. Brilliant lock, William. I will put this back together soon and we will get it sent off. Really enjoyed that, my friend. And what we're going to do, we're going to... This package is already opened. Uh, I've not pulled out what's in it. I know what's in it because uh, Gordon Window, who sent me this parcel. Very nice chap from... Uh, and he has a channel. Uh, he, has, he has his own channel, which um, Gordon W., uh, he's on the UKLP, and, and uh, he's sent me this parcel. Um, like I said, I know what's in it, because he sent me a picture of him. So what we'll do is, we'll get the camera down. And we'll just empty the contents. We'll make it easier. I don't know what's going on with me uh, stand. There we go, tighten that up a little bit. Let's see what we have got. Okay, keep still. <laughs> we have got a Euro cylinder, half one, long half. I'll have to check out what's inside that. We've got a, another Euro cylinder, which is cool, another half. Um, I've seen someone get the other half of this one, I can't think of it is now. Oh, we have a challenge lock. Does the challenge lock work? It works. It, Push key and open. Oh, there we go. Rob's locks. Number five, the Devil's Crossroads. Very cool. I've never picked one of Rob's locks before, so uh, this will be uh, really interesting. Thank you very much. And oh, what's that? That's oh, a little warded lock. England. Oh, it's a squire. Oh, very, very cool. And number 24. Do you know what? I've had cheap warded locks. I've never actually had the proper branded warded lock. Uh, made in England. That is a cool little squire. That's staying in my collection. That, that is very, very nice. What have we got here? We've got a Miller. I've got a Miller. I've got a brass one. It usually comes with a couple of spools in. Um, we've got just a normal night latch. Which will be awesome. Can be repinned up. And then we have got... A Starlock uh, England. It looks like it's been. Uh, see, this looks like it's cement or plaster. It feels very powdery and dry. A nice bit in. Oh, and it works. Just needs a, a good clean up. Still, even for a, uh, still fairly shiny though. Um, I'll leave that open, but um, 
Oh, and we've got the uh, bitting number on the key. 1336. Very cool. Let's put these all together. Um, thank you very much, Gordon, my friend. Absolute awesome, mate. Um, I don't think I've sent you anything yet, mate. Um, I've just done UK Lot Pickers. He's been sent off. Bill Card is 99.9% um, complete. I've got one more lot to put in there. Bills will be sent off. Then anyone else I said I'd send a few locks to, I will certainly get you uh, some locks out there. Um, but um, yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I want to say, I'll say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I'm on 808. Absolutely humongously mental. Never ever in my wildest dreams ever thought I would ever get that many. It's just awesome. This community is so good. Um, but a big thank you to all my subscribers and people who just watch because they're curious. Please get involved. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.